what's going on? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Golfers TV. Today we're not doing any fishing actually because it is mid-November. Um, ice is just starting to form, and we're just—I'm just gonna be reviewing um, a bunch of stuff coming up for ice fishing season, which is kind of in a month, maybe less. We're hoping a little bit less. Okay. For real, we're just gonna be going through all this stuff that Felt has um, his shanty his rods, his baits, all the stuff that we're going to be using coming up here in our ice fishing videos. Um, I haven't had anything out in a while, so that's why we're just kind of making a video here. We got the Eskimo Fatfish 949i, which means insulated. So we're just going to be getting felts, setting this up here. There you go. So he's got one side. See how easy it is? Just to pull it and open it up. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna hold the other side for Felds while he does this. <laughs> Technically, it's a two man job. Yeah. So, and then I'm gonna pull and get around here. Alright, and then I'm gonna enter. And there you go, it's very simple, it's a four person, it's super nice, it's insulated, as you guys hopefully can see here. Um, we got windows all around, and a good amount of space. There's this heater that he has, his propane heater. There you go, that's going to help us out throughout the winter. I'm going to exit here. Yep. So here's the auger, it is a gas auger. Um, Super nice, eight inch, beautiful. Hopefully that'll work for us this upcoming season. This one for a drill. Yep, that's his drill bit one. Only six inches, but still works just as good. For like hand pitch and stuff. Yep. Outboard motor. Yep. You always have to have that. That's a great ice fishing bait. Um, Pike usually likes to go after those. Yeah. No, but now lastly, we got a good amount of stuff here. Um, our ice fishing season should be extremely good hopefully you'll be able to see all the insides of that stuff but you know that shanty was three hundred dollars and worked well so that's what she looks like from a distance beautiful nice i'm just gonna go inside uh nathan put in the lights that we're gonna be using if we ever go out late or at evening when the sun's going down so we got light there there right there so that'll be a nice addition he's got the seats we got a bucket um, and now he's just gonna go through some of the stuff that we're gonna be using when we go out either at our ponds or our lake Hello, Garcia what you got on there? there you go nice little jig it's pretty old but you know I might switch that out whatever works probably another panfish doesn't have anything on it yet yeah, it's like really crappy line. See when the fish bite, whenever. It's pretty thin. Sandy, noticeable for when so this you hook is up. Probably like a bass rod. I have a bigger jig on there for, for like a minnow or something. Mm -hmm. And obviously, we got the pip ups. Yep. So guys, um, just in case anyone was wondering, all of the stuff here, like all all three of these rods combined, I would say for probably around fifty dollars combined. So nothing here is too expensive. Um, it's all you know cheap stuff that you can get at Fleet Farm Cabela's. The baits sometimes, like these jigs, can get a little pricey, um, but that's up to you guys what you want to get. And then you know the tip ups are kind of a, a must need. If you're going out on like a day trip or whatever to um you know setting up camp and just trying to get the bigger fish off of them so this is what Tivo does so we put it down obviously we have a minnow on the treble hook so then we put her down the hole to the bottom we set the tip up right under here flay whenever the fish starts to pull some line out flay goes up run over, just there you go. take it out of the hole and rip it, and hopefully get the fish. You can have three lines in the water, 
So, two tip ups or three tip ups. Yeah. One if you're not up. gonna jig, but yeah. So I still gotta get um, for myself. I still gotta get the tip ups. Um, I'm thinking about getting a shanty, but depends on how much I'm going with Fishy Baker Gang, which will probably be most of the time when I'm out there. But um, if not, the dark night. Yo. All right, you wanna go over all your jigs here? So these jigs, we got the bigger jigs on the bottom, so which are like for like minnows and stuff. Like this Green Bay one, it's got a nice hook on there. Mm -hmm. Then these are more for like panfish and stuff, like you know. <laughs> and these up here, more for panfish too. Yeah. So different sizes for different fish, you know, they'll work. Mm -hmm. um, put a wax worm on the bottom and yep, wax worm. you'll get some fish for sure. We need to grab some other stuff and, you know, it'll be good. Definitely. So that's just his jig collection. Uh, my jig collection, I haven't really gone through too much yet. I still have, I don't have that much. Just went to Cabell's yesterday, picked up some new stuff. So... It's coming soon, the ice fishing season, and we're going to be ready. Um, I'm hoping to get like another camera or another GoPro or something so we could get different angles and start doing you know, some better content for you guys. Can we talk about the heater? Yeah. Too? And then we'll go over the heater because I'm going to have to get I'm gonna, one of those two. It's a 50 buck heater, Mr. Heater. And you, you can use it as a heater or you can put stuff on it. Not that. No, just got to hook up propane and yeah. you'll be set. Alright, so now we're just going to show you guys how to take down the Eskimo. Um, always start with the top, or at least for this model. Um, and I also didn't show you guys, you know, not all of these come as the eye, the Eskimos, which is insulation. So Yeah, it's really nice. It so actually keeps the heat in, which is nice. You still got the windows to get some oxygen in, but the heat usually stays in. There's enough space for both of us to stand, as you can see. Both of us are not hitting our heads, and I'm... No. 5'7", he's like 5'9", so um, it's actually super nice, very accessible from either side, so recommend it, alright? to conclude this video we're gonna actually go to uh, creek um, and check what the ice is like there because we haven't I mean it's been cold very cold and granted it's our only November like 18th so there's no ice that we can actually ice fish on yet so we're just gonna go check it out there has been like ice in the mornings that have been frozen over and most of it has stayed for the most part right now it's like 33 34 so we're gonna go check it out see how it looks and give you your first look of what ice fishing is gonna be like this upcoming season that's our first first real hole of the season.